I'm Anil Kumar and with the help of this very simple example, we will illustrate how composition of the functions can be created. So we have two functions here. One is f of x equals to all these points and then we have g of x. So we have seven points here. We need to determine f of g and g of f, both these composite functions. Now let us see what happens when f is combined with g of x then you have to do the inside operation first that means you'll begin with g of x so what you do is at x equals to minus 1 you need to find the value of g and then f of that value right so so for 3 what is the value 4 you get the idea right so what we get here is set of points which will represent f of g of x so let's begin with the very first point which is minus 1 so if I write minus 1 here, then g of x, g of minus 1 is 3. Now f of 3 is what? So we look for this function, f of 3 is 4. So we get 4 as the output. Do you get the idea? So we begin with the input from the g of x. Then the range of g of x becomes the input or the domain of f of x. Now we can only find f of g if that value is in the domain of f of x otherwise not so we'll see how we have to do it so let's look into the second uh, coordinate point g of x minus 2 so x value is minus 2 g of x is 2 now f of 2 is what f of 2 is not there right so we do not have f of 2 so this value cannot have so we cannot have domain of minus 2 right for the function f of gx let's look into the next one which is 0 then g of x g of 0 is minus 1 for minus 1 the value is 3 so 3 is the output right next one is 1 so for 1 the output is 0 and in f of x input cannot be 0 therefore this is also not permitted then let's take the next one which is 2 output is 1 for 1 we have 2 as the output from f of x so we that is okay now for 3 output is 2 now let us check there is 2 is not there so that cannot be completed right so we start with now 4 output is 3 for 3 as the input 4 is the output so we get 4 4 so basically f of g of x is set of these four points now from this example it becomes clear to you that first we have to find g of x and then g of x becomes the input for f of x and then how that's how you get f of g of x right now let's do once again the similar operation but this time g of fx so we will begin with f of x now okay so the input value of minus 1 output for f of x is 3 then what is g of 3 do we have a value yes we have it is 2 so 2 becomes the output you get the idea for minus 2 f of minus 2 is 5 what is g of 5 while it is not there so we cannot take this let's try the next one minus 3 7 do we have 7 here as the input no we don't minus 4 we don't have 9 either so that is also not permitted so let's try with 1 so 1 input output is 2 now g of 2 is 1 so that is fine let's try with 3 now output is 4 for 4 as the input 3 is the output perfect now with 5 6 is the output but we don't have 6 as the input in g of x so we get g of f of x as set of these three points do you get the idea so that is how you can form a composite function from the given points. So this is a very good exercise. I'd like you to go through it once again. Understand the concept, right? So can you write down domain? You will see that the domain is subset of domain of G, right? So minus 1, 0, 2, 4, minus 1, 0, 2, and 4. So these are in the domain of g of x, 
other points which were in the domain of g of x are not included since range that means 2 is not in the domain of f of x in this case 0 is not in the domain of f of x or 2 is not in the domain of f of x that is the reason why these points have not been you know included in f of g of x right so that makes one understanding very clear that the domain of a composite function includes or is a subset of the domain of g of x and only those points are included for which the range of g of x can be domain of f of x so that is the the criteria for composing functions i hope you understand it now you can also see from here how different these two functions are so what we get is that f of g is not equals to g of f right it is not fog it is f of g right that's o should have been slightly smaller okay so that is how it is we'll take one more example and then uh, i think we'll move on to different kind of composite functions mainly in the form of equations thank you